Hello Zebra Herd, welcome back to Bloons Adventure Time Tower Defense. Today we are continuing on with the game, loading my profile or something like that. I did want to see what more we can do with the story mode, but I'm pretty sure that the story mode is going to get a little bit more difficult. Of course, free to play games like this, usually their difficulty hops up really fast after the sort of the couple first levels, the first tutorial levels. But we'll have to find out. First off, let's get our daily reward, which is two wish orbs, which will be pretty cool. But beyond that, I wanted to check out something with this, or is it going to, okay. It forced me to open up the wish orbs right now. Okay, let's get our first common wish orb. It looks like it has Gunter, Pocket Watch, or Boomerang Monkey. I think we want to stick with the Pocket Watch. If we could get some trinkets on each character, I think that'd be good. Um, this, of course, increases effective duration of Bubblegum and Ice, 5% plus 1% additional percent per star level, so I think that's a really good, just basic thing to get. Uh, sharding items, if you have items that you don't want to keep, you can shard them. Shards are used to craft new wish orbs. I'm gonna keep this one, don't worry about it. However, sharding an item can't be undone, so think carefully before doing so. All right, I'm gonna keep this one because I wanna give this one to PB, and then for these ones, we'll discard them. Soon enough, I'm sure we'll have to get more allies, but let's just focus on the next wishing orb, which has, uh, Okay, some decent stuff. The sandwich, I think, is new. Uh, no special properties, speed plus 2%. So lump and delicious sandwiches are pretty basic addition, but I think that, like obviously if we want more allies, something like this would be good, but I don't know, I don't think it's really all that great. I think it would be better to do the uh, delicious sandwiches just to get extra speed. Um, even if it's simple, achievement unlocked, I wish for two. Uh, okay, I guess we got two things. Um, I'll discard these two and then we'll continue forward. Uh, but yeah, like I said, one thing that I'm worried about is if we take a look at everything that's going on, we have like a three star thing over this way, we have a three star thing over this way, another three star thing over this way, so it doesn't seem like we can go on any new expeditions without getting our butts kicked, I'm gonna think. I don't think we can handle a three skull, three star, whatever it is. So we're gonna move on over to here. This is where we can maybe replay a mission here at the, uh, maybe not. Okay, I thought we could replay missions at the the tree house, but it's not letting me click it, so maybe not. But if I go back this way, I can replay one of the first Candy Kingdom missions we did, I believe, unless I'm doing this wrong. So uh, yeah, we have like a couple of options. My focus will be the one star one we already did. Um, why I wanna replay this one is because we can do it on a higher difficulty and try things out. While we're doing that though, I do wanna try out the brand new Jake Adventurer Pack. Of course, last episode we did the Finn Adventurer Pack. We have a now Jake Adventurer Pack, so I'd love to check this out. And with this one, it's two times the value. We get a, uh, oh, what's your name? Lumpy Space Princess Ally, a musical weapon, a trinket, and more. So I figured this one's worth checking out, but as you can see right here, Jake Adventurer pack. Lumpy Space Princess can't touch these lumps. LSP is so lump and gorgeous that, that she turns the balloons whenever they come near. Wow. Um, oh, she stuns them. And then Jake's viola, Jake's signature instrument, he appreciates, appreciates it more than anyone. And then Margaret's music box. The music from this f family heirloom makes balloons sleepy whenever they hear it. Interesting. And it also gives us 50 gems and then 12 big meatballs, I guess. I don't know who that's for, but I guess it's a level up thing. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and get that and sort of see how things go. All right, so our purchase was successful. We're gonna go ahead and check all of that out now. I'm really excited to see. So if we go to our characters, just right here, we have a couple of things to check out for like all sorts of things. So first off, Finn, um, I don't really know too much about what I wanna give him. But definitely, since he's a character we play with a lot, I think we want to give him as good trinkets as we can possibly afford. So, like, we have a couple of things here, but I think we want to go ahead and give him a pocket watch, since he doesn't have one, of course. I mean, actually, no, we're going to say that for PB. Um, the sandwich might be nice, because it does give him 2% attack speed, right? As you can see. 2% um, extra attack speed, so let's equip that. And finally, as one last slot, let's go ahead and max him out, just because, you know, he seems to be a pretty reliable character in that way. Um, and that's going to be, I think, this. Now, this we got last episode. It is the Rent Cell on one half of Mysterious Blade gives extra range, but I'll also get plus one damage. The Claw Blade Trinket is also equipped. So once we got got that, we might want to like reconfigure some stuff. But for now, that should work just fine. Now, um, let's move over to Jake because I think no, 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 not this Jake. Wrong Jake. Uh, this Jake. Because with our meatballs, yeah, we can actually gain him some levels. So right now we actually have 13 meatballs, so I can level him up twice here with that one. He's level two now, and then level him up. Oh, oh okay, here we go. Jake, level up! All right, uh, slots unlocked one trinket. That's pretty good. And then we're just gonna do that again so that he's level three. 
and that'll unlock some even more stuff. He'll get another trinket, I think, which is nice, and he also upgrades harmful if swallowed. So I just got some good stuff going on there. We want to equip his first instrument, which is the viola, as we've already read. Take signature instrument. He appreciates it, its music more than anyone. Let's equip that because it gives him an additional plus one damage. But there's also a certain move if we take a look somewhere right here um, that gets unlocked by him having an instrument. Needs an instrument equipped, it's this one. Uh, I'm the musical one, increases the boost is given by Jake's musical instrument. So that's pretty cool, it'll increase that plus one damage to whatever else it needs to be. So uh, yeah, beyond that, if we go back, we can give him some trinkets now too. We'll also focus on her in just a moment, but let me go back, because I think I'm doing things wrong. Uh, yeah, back to Jake. Let's go ahead and give him an ally. Might as well give him Lumpy Space Princess. I don't know what Lumpy Space Princess does. It looks like her pros are stuns, balloons, cons is that she doesn't do any damage. Statistics, she's 280. Actually, that's pretty cheap. Damage type is sharp. The range is 30, the pierce is 10, but it does no damage. So what do you mean pierce is 10, but damage is zero? I don't know, that's sort of weird. Anyways, we can equip you here, might as well. Um, but that's where that one thing we passed up on, the increasing the range of the allies might be good if we equip it here. And then lastly, do we have any trinkets for you we might wanna be willing to give? I think that one that we got in this pack, we take a look. Uh, the music from this family heirloom makes balloons sleepy when they hear it. So yeah, we're gonna go ahead and do that. Balloons move 20% slower, one in range of the equipped character, plus an extra 1% for each star level. So that's gonna be 23%, so that'll be pretty good. Um, beyond that, we do have some other characters we wanna buff up and try out in today's episode, like Ice King, do you have, you do not have, one of these clocks. I thought we got one of these last episode, but I don't remember. But of course, like as you can see, um, it'll increase that slowdown that Ice King has. But what about PB? Does she have one of the clocks? She does, so don't have to worry about that too much. Hopefully we can get some new stuff for her soon. We don't have like any extra allies or anything. So I guess we used up all of our monkeys, because I thought that she had the monkey. Maybe not though, maybe it was Max? No, yeah, Max had it, okay. So there shouldn't be any other trinkets available except for the one we want to give to Cassie. Looks like it, so we're gonna move all the way back and go to Cassie, the character we unlocked last episode, Captain Cassie, and we're gonna give her a trinket. This one is specifically for her, or at least it's most useful for her. If we um, take a look at the info, uh, the pinnacle of swashbuckling style gives extra peers, especially if worn by an actual sailor, additional plus two peers if equipped by Cassie. So it doesn't really do any, okay, so it gives you plus two peers but then it'll give you another plus two on top of that if equipped by Cassie, so it gives you plus four, if I'm understanding that correctly. If I'm not understanding that correctly, that means it just doesn't do anything. Okay then, so with all that figured out, I think we're just about good to go. I did wanna check out the achievement list. Ooh, so you do get upgrades for uh, doing achievements. So we got a couple things going on here. First off, I taste awesome, promote a character to three stars, we get 20 shards for that one. And then the I wish for, open five wish orbs, we get a wish orb, or no, 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 we didn't. We get five gems and 100 coins, which I still don't even know what coins are for. Um, we get I wish for two, we get another 150 coins and 10 gems, and then a uh, Give me a hug, hero, complete three adventures. That gets us a wish orb, which is really nice. And we're really close to some other stuff as well. Complete five adventures, we'll probably be able to do in today's episode. Um, well, actually, no, because that's a full on adventures. Never mind. Finish them off, my semi loyal pet, pop 500 balloons using allies. So lots of cool stuff going on there. Let's go ahead and check out what our wish orb will be. Or maybe not now, uh, maybe later. But uh, with that being said, we're just gonna focus on replaying one we've already done and just do it, let's see if we can't do it on a higher difficulty. I feel like that'll be a fun thing to experiment because if, if we do try that, right? If I select this, um, we could try the hard mode, just like that. And hopefully this will turn out well, it might go awful. But the thing is, I don't think we can handle three skull levels just yet. So that's something I wanna focus on next episode, especially since I wanted to focus in on that Jake Adventurer pack. Speaking of which, do I wanna start with that right now? I don't think so, but you never know, right? Um, This can be a tough level to start with, but I think we'll just have Jake here. I think that's gonna be a good idea. Keep in mind that we can increase his range in a little bit, and then we can have Max around this way. Once again, he's gonna have his range increase as well. So for right now, Max is gonna be able to destroy the stuff nice and quick. Do I wanna continue with the strategy I had last episode where I do get BMO out and he makes a lot of money? I mean, it seems like it's pretty viable, especially for, you know, just like the lack of abilities our characters have right now, which is, you know, slowly but surely expanding, but it, it still takes time, right? So, um, 
I think that maybe we'll try that, and we'll try some different characters as well. We will try, I think, PB. Oh man, maybe I should have given Lumpy Space Princess to PB. I don't really know, because she does make, she makes allies do more damage, so I'd probably want to put a normal Dart Monkey with her. But that's probably the best bet I can have. I don't know. Lots of options for sure. We do have slightly more starting cash than we did a couple episodes, or last episode, because we've gained a level or two, so that's good. I mean, it seems to be like about $5 per level up, so it's not really much at all. But hopefully we can continue leveling up our characters today. If we get more done, I'm sure we'll be able to unlock more chests and stuff, and that'll help out. So I'm really hoping we can get hard mode done. We'll just have to wait and see. Uh, but we do have just under 600 here. At least we're getting close to it. So we need another good chunk before we get there. Like It seems like we get about $100 per completed level. But as you can see, things might be a bit more difficult because instead of surviving until round 30, we need to survive to round 45. So that's gonna be a fair bit more of a challenge. But there's BMO, so we're just gonna go ahead and put BMO like out here in the corner. That's really all I need. So let's get to it. And I gotta pay a lot of attention. The moment we're available to get $300, we need to spend it that exact second. And we'll see how this goes. Since I know the strategy works to at least some extent, we'll try this and see if it you know, continues to go well. If it does, awesome. Then we know what to do to survive hard mode, at least to some sense. But you know, we're having a hard time with that even. Then we might you know, want to try something new, a different strategy that might be a little bit safer. There's a 300, so now we just gotta wait for the 500 and basically do the same exact thing. Right now, Finn and, or not Finn and Jake, Max and Jake, or no, Max and Finn. Oh my gosh, I get mixed up every time. I'm so sorry. But uh, they seem to be keeping up just fine. But I've been having a ton of fun with this game, even if it is a free-to-play game. I feel like, you know, it's, it's been fun to figure things out to, together. You know, just learning more about the game. Also, make sure that you're focused on strong because that's just sort of a better idea. I'm trying to press the button, wasn't really working very well. Um, all right, there's 72. Oh, we just need 30 more dollars. Come on. And got it, there we go, perfect. So now we can let that build up a lot more and be totally fine with it. We probably, once again, want to start focusing on Max. Um, because I don't know when camos are gonna start showing up on hard mode, they might show up sooner. So having longer range is gonna be nice to keep them going down. And then get $100 from there, get a little bit more money. Come on, there it is, sharp darts, which will help out a lot. I think we want the more darts. If we get the double darts right now, I think that's gonna be real helpful. And then we'll probably work on getting Jake out, try that out. There's like so many different things I wanna try. That's why it's nice that there's more rounds. I can really keep going. What's interesting, oh no, there goes a balloon, um, is that there hasn't been any free play options yet from what I've seen, which I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing at this rate. Oh, I'm so sorry there, it's gonna hurt him a little bit. We do have a little bit less health now with 150 instead of a 200 that we normally are used to seeing. Let's get Sword Player out. And then maybe, oh, should we do Limber Limbs? We should do Limber Limbs. There it is, there it is. Ooh, this is getting bad. So this these first couple rounds might be a bit of a challenge. We're taking, we're taking some damage, but I don't think it's gonna stay this way. I think if we can just keep going and keep upgrading, I think we can turn this around now that we got BMO making the money and doing the things that BMO needs to do. Okay, so uh, let's do fast, Rider Fastest, and then I'm gonna upgrade to Sword Master. That way when things get to Finn, it really isn't that big of a deal. I would love to get stuff going on better for you, Max, but it's tough, it ain't easy. Let's do Sword Master, we'll leave it like that, and we'll start focusing on Max again. I mean, we're earning like $4 a second from BMO, but that really clearly isn't enough. But I mean, now Finn is really working at it, he's just swinging that sword like crazy, and it deals with like all of them. He's a really powerful character. For sure, get $72 there. We're almost there, almost ready, almost ready. Boom, more darts. Okay, this is where things become a problem. Keep swinging, Finn. <laughs> almost got to Jake again. All right, so things have been nasty in a lot of different ways, but I think that's gonna get better now that we have that. We can do sharper darts or faster. I think we'll do sharper darts. And then, oof, it's tough, it really is. Um, I would love that faster throw, but I think we need to get Jake out here. I think we need to get Jake out here pronto. Either that, or we can do Lumpy Space Princess, which might be nice if we can slow some things down. So let's try Lumpy LSP, you know, good old LSP. Helping out with a lot of stuff. Maybe slow it down at the beginning, might be smarter. Um, we can upgrade her so that like she has these lumps, which uh, LSP skills of seduction and trans balloons quicker. LSP seduces balloons significantly quicker than finally gotcha. LSP is so gorgeous, she actually damages balloons to do this. So eventually she does do damage. Wow, interesting. Okay, just take some work. I don't mind that. <laughs> I love this so far, it's great. But yeah, that really slows them down, which I think helps out at the beginning here a lot. So I like it. 
Go ahead and get some more money, get the can't handle this. We'll probably get everything here, just because it seems like a good combo too. So our allies really are making a big, big difference. I like it. So this is one of Jake's allies, and weirdly enough, we don't even have Jake out right now, so I'm gonna have to change some things up in a moment. Uh, so boom, we got that, so that's gonna actually start damaging the balloons as well. So now we have some easier defenses right at the beginning, especially for these bigger groups of balloons. That's gonna make it way easier. So now let's focus on getting Jake out here, and then probably Cassie. The thing is, is that Cassie's supposed to be on the water. I don't know if she can be on land at all, so she might not even be able to be out in this map, so we'll have to wait and see. Might not even be able to try Cassie just yet. I don't know when we wanna do that. Maybe next episode I'll try another level. It just are all three skull levels and that gets me really nervous. Like if we can't complete this, and I don't think we can complete this three skull difficulty, you know? Like maybe I'm totally wrong with that, but anyways, getting a little distracted. Let's go ahead and combo up Finn and, Finn and Jake. I guess I'll have him sort of like this, I think is better. It's something. All right, so we'll do Axe Foot to start some things off. We'll get $220 from Bima, which really helps. Um, and we'll get Mace Hand. Achievement unlocked, finish him off, my semi-loyal pet. We just saw that once, that one got us a good finish there, it was pretty good. So they're tearing st stuff up like it's no problem now. Um, I think we can survive another good couple rounds like this. So right now let's focus on riding the gloves. I think that's our next best bet. That way we can uh, get Brofist, that'll get us some extra money coming in. We're probably gonna deal with a, a Moab at some point. So if we could in the next 24 rounds just figure things out, we're not quite even halfway through this. So things are definitely going a bit better, I like it. Uh, let's keep moving, get $100. And Brofist is 1400. It's a bit of an expensive one, but like we haven't even seen a huge cluster hit Finn and Jake since we've gotten Lumpy Space Princess. So things are going our way if you ask me. But we can build a lot of stuff that'll help against Moabs. If I tried to put Cassie down, like it won't even let me. Yeah, so unfortunately Cassie is water only. I do wanna check her out. Whoa, I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> but uh, we'll have to wait and see. Okay, so we're almost at the 1400. Ready, boom, got it, bro fest. So that's gonna make things easier at the end of each round. We're gonna get a little bonus, but I do need to start preparing. Sooner or later we should start singing uh, camo, so if I could get the enhanced range, that's gonna be good. Now we wanna get stuff like the heavy tips, we wanna get stuff like the heated, no, I, what did I do? I don't know. Um, heavy tips, just like that. Then we got the heart, hot tips coming up, just like this, very good. So if we wanna do some other stuff, I think the most effective thing that we got going on right now is we could do Ice King. I think Ice King is super good. Um, I raved about it last episode. I actually think he's one of my favorite towers so far. He's just a little expensive at first for good reason because he just has global moves. And like right now, he can be our backdoor protection and then also he can help out by uh, you know being able to attack with his lightning strike from anywhere on the map. So just for right now, keep him back this way and then start working for his lightning. So if I remember correctly, we need to upgrade what for the lightning? Um, we just need to get ice bolts. So let's for focus on the, uh, let's first focus on the, uh, the $400 ice bolts, and then we need the $1,100 lightning strike. And that's even if anything gets to him, he's backdoor protection. Right now, like things are going well enough that I don't even know if that'll even happen too much. 1,100, still isn't too bad, we can keep moving. We're already at almost 800. So Max and Lumpy Space Princess seem to make a pretty good combo with everything, especially now that Lumpy Space Princess is actually doing some good damage. Almost there, almost there. Ooh, there it is. Okay, so get the Lightning Strike, get the Colder Ice, and then we're gonna start upgrading everything else for him. Like we can do Freeze Lightning. Oh, this is bad, actually. Um, So those, those camos came up quick, real quick. That's gonna do some damage. I'm really glad we have Brofist because that's gonna heal us a little bit. We're at 134 now. So what we wanna do is try to get some camo vision going on. Um, the best way to do that, of course, is to get Bima to give us money. And then, which one's camo vision? We need to get Crown Influence in the Wizard Eyes. So Crown in Influence, Wizard Eyes. That'll make things a lot easier when it comes to the camos for sure. And then we need freeze lightning soon enough. That way when we do this lightning, it actually does freeze them. And with the hot tips, that'll help a lot because they, uh, the hot tips uh, from Max can actually damage that. So that's a pretty good synergy. One thing I've noticed is there's a lot of synergies with this game. Since you only have one tower, you know, of each kind really, except for the allies, you know, you can really get some crazy synergies going on. How much money we have another $100 right there. So we need level seven for whatever this is. I really wish we could do that now. Chill to the bone is fine. And if I could do the faster freezing, that'd be good too. Okay, 
We don't really need winter weather anytime soon, I don't think, so we'll just focus on faster freezing and leave it like that, because that's really all we can do for him. Now we can start focusing more on like, uh, I mean, if we could do that faster throw, I'm sure it would be helpful. I mean, there are plenty of things that would be helpful at this rate. Plenty of things. <laughs> I don't know. But we're handling it, just about 10 rounds left after this one, of course. Okay, ooh, that's getting by quick, but once again, Finn and Jake just destroy it. Not a problem for those two. So we got the faster throwing, now we have Poptimization, sharp weapons and range get increased pierce, so let's try that out. Once again, the weak spots, I really don't know if anti-Moab is what we should be focusing on, when Moabs are gonna start showing up, but the Moab Ripper will surely help with that. Um, so, probably get the Moab Ripper soon enough, right? I don't know, within, before round 45, I have to imagine. Because we just haven't seen a Moab in the wild. The only time we've seen one was, was during the tutorial when I was like, hey, use this power up so you know what power ups do. Maybe it'd just be smarter to get PB, or PB, I was gonna say PBG. Uh, I mean, yeah, PBG still is correct. It's Princess Bubblegum. Uh, so that's for right now. I'll probably have her something like this. I think that's a good idea because in that way, she can slow stuff down before Finn and Jake even attack it, and then she can do Regal Presence, which of course makes it so that they have increased range and pierce, which will be really, really good. Okay, so now uh, things are going pretty easy. It's going much, much better, so I like it. And she can even do uh, Super Intelligence so that she can undo the camos. Oh my, oh look at you working on those camos like it's no problem, so let's do Regal Presence. These guys are gonna be even more prepared than ever. And then we definitely need to do Gun Familiarity. And then BMO, how are you doing back here? You've already made almost $300, so I can use that and get the super intelligence. That's really nice. Okay, so things are getting scary, but we're doing what we can with it. So if we want to start preparing for Moabs, getting the weak spots will be good. Bullseye is really expensive. Ability max attacks do mega damage to Moabs. That's one of our first abilities we would ever see if we decided to go with that. I don't know if that's what we want to do, though. We have Balloon Science. Guns do increase damage to ceramics and Moabs, and then Quick Draw. I don't know. Cause like, what else could we do? Jelly beans have power. Ability, sprays the, a jet of balloon popping jelly beans. That sounds cool. Hmm. And we need to upgrade Jake a bit more, I think. Um, we could do that. Get a hundred dollars from Fimo. I mean, I don't know. Maybe it would just be better, cause we could get flying kick. That's another good thing that does uh, stuns and damages mob class balloons. If we could get the Moab stuck in that corner, gonna do a lot of damage. That's a lot of balloons. Like a whole big bunch of them. We're destroying it like it's no problem, by the way. But it's still a lot of balloons. 924 now. Keep going, keep going. All right, very, very good. Yeah, I think we're gonna go for it. Let's go ahead and do the kick. I mean, that really only helps if we do have a, a Moab come in. So we really gotta hope a Moab is gonna come in. But beyond that, we I mean, we've got some pretty upgraded stuff. I think it's good to start working on maybe I mean, first off, Jake, but then after that, maybe get a Dart Monkey out here. So Harmful, <clears throat> excuse me, Harmful if swallowed, sucks in and swallows stronger balloons that are nearby. That is something that we just unlocked by getting more level ups as Jake. And then I'm the Musical one is the one we got for the Viola. Increases the boost given by Jake's musical instrument. So let's go ahead and activate that one. So he's gonna be doing a little bit more damage, which is nice. And then BMO, oh, here it is, Moab. Moab's coming in, we gotta be ready for this. Whoa, we did it, look at all those ceramics. Nice stuff, we actually did that no problem. I'm super happy about that one. Okay, so what about everything else? We probably wanna do the Harmful Swallowed. So he's gonna, whoa, but things just like flew by there for a moment, that was really scary. I don't know if that's actually any better. We got the Butt Push. So now we're making some major moolah. Probably tie him up will be good. Ties up a nearby Moab and damages it, but we might have some other cheaper things we might wanna do. Like the bullseye I think would be nice. If we can have fast enough reactions and just be ready for it, that'll probably be a good idea. Oh, that's so many balloons, so many of them. But maybe it'd be better to have quick draw and then gun expertise and then balloon science, because we're getting money majorly quickly. Jelly bean power is a really expensive one though. Here it is, here's two Moabs this time, oh my. Okay, we popped them. Look at Jake, he just ate them all up, but then he spits them back out is the thing. Oh my, oh my, oh my, oh my. Come on, come on, keep going, keep going. I don't know if this is gonna work or not. Maybe I should use a superpower. No, look at Ice King finishing it off back there. He's going crazy. Come on, we gotta be able to do something, right? We don't even need to, because Jake does an amazing thing. That was so weird. Level complete. Candy throne room, we do get a silver chest for that. That was crazy. Oh, I love it, we didn't even have to use that superpower. And here we get some 60 coins, we get three gems, we get two cosmic essences, 
And we get one green wish orb. I have no idea what a cosmic essence is, but we'll get 90 experience, which is really nice. Hopefully we can make our way to level five today to get a little bit more starting cash. I like it. Weapons can have lots of different effects from simple stats boots to powerful activated abilities. So let's take a look at some of our new power orbs. We should have two of these. Oh, we get a green one. What's it gonna be? Hey, it's tree trunks. So we get tree trunks, boomerang monkey, and a candy corn. So for tree trunks, Tree Trunks won't let the balloons get in the way of apple pie. She can attack balloons and make it delicious pies that heal lost lives. Ooh, I like that. Then we have Boomerang Monkey. The Boomerang Monkey is ready to send the balloons down under. His ranged boomerang attacks just keep coming back for more. And then finally we have a trinket. It is additional plus one pierce if equipped the Princess Bubblegum. Hopefully we can get that again soon because I really want to get this one because it is a little bit more uncommon. Um, so let's, let's take it, let's take it. All right, so we're gonna discard those two and see what else, we have this orb as well. This is a green one. Oh, we get a blue out of it though, we get a rare. So we got the Monkey King's Robe, the Power Ring of Chill, and Jake's Viola, which we already have one of those. Yeah, right? Jake's attack is plus, yeah, that's already what we have, is Jake's Viola. Um, so we upgrade, upgrades are 1% cheaper for Monkey King's Robe. Uh, Power Ring of Chill, balloons hit by attacks move 20% slower for 10 seconds. I think I like that. Yeah, that seems really good to me, Power Ring of Chill. So we're gonna take that one. Probably just put that on Ice King. Probably our best bet, yeah. I mean, we might wanna put it on Max or something. Like, that might be good, because in that way, he just like, it's a better start for him, and he really needs a good start. So let's go ahead and do the second one. Um, this one actually does have water, so we should be able to try everybody. Um, but I did want to sort of mix some things around. Max currently has the Dart Monkey. I'm gonna go ahead and swap him out and basically just unequip him if I can. Unequip, that's good. And why I want to do that is because I want to go to PB and give her that. Because if we take a look at her levels, one of the things she has is she has um, Unwavering Loyalty. Uh, Princess Bubblegum's allies attack faster. So if we do give her, you know, an ally. Oh, she can't even have him though. Oh, that sort of stinks. Okay, never mind. Yeah, that's sort of a pain. Anyways, what what kind of thing can we give her? Uh, we can give her the thing, but I don't think she needs it. Um, and she still doesn't have a weapon, but we do have candy, so why don't we go ahead and give her that? Very nice. Princess Bubblegum levels up. She gets plus one trinket slots. Very, very nice. And that'll make things a little bit easier for next time. What about all the other characters, and do we have any upgrade things for them? No anchors for her, but what can she get? I mean, she can get the Dart Monkey as well. Don't know if it's really all that needed. I think we'll just keep it with Max if we can't do anybody else. And I'm just trying to see like who else might need an upgrade. Like Ice King, what do you need for upgrades? You need journals. Okay, well, at the very least, I can give the Dart Monkey back to you, because I don't see who else we can really equip it to that'd be effective at this moment. Hmm. And then give you this. That way you just sort of have like a stronger effect with our combo that we're doing right now. Eventually we'll try to work in her this time and see how well that works out. But we're gonna go ahead and do normal difficulty or, or hard difficulty again here at the Enkai Ridian. Apparently that's what this map is called, even though I thought it was Princess Tree Trunks' home. I don't know. Something about Super Monkey there. I haven't seen a Super Monkey in the game yet. That's pretty cool. Can we put Jake in here? We can't. So this might be a bit of a difficult level. I just have a feeling. But what we could do is something like this. Like that isn't too bad right there. And then I think this is a great place for Finn. Right there. So we'll do that. And this map is interesting because we do have those little guys that are gonna spawn in and try to slow the balloons down a little bit, which is always nice. And when Max hits these, of course they will slow down a little bit. Oh yeah, this is Hot Dog Princess's house. Did I say, I think I said a different princess. Anyways, we know what we can do and what works because we now know that, you know, Lumpy Space Princess is a really great option and if we set her up in the right spot, they'll pass, pa go past Lumpy Space Princess twice over. So definitely focusing on that. But first off, let's get the BMO situation in. It definitely seems to pay its while. I need to check out like by the end of the round 45, try to remember to check out BMO and see how much money BMO has made us. Cause it has to make us more than 1500. And I think she's making us far, far more than that. Hmm. 
But yeah, and right now Max is handling all these balloons pretty easily, which is nice because that means that uh, these little hot dog soldiers are sort of building up before they even you know, mess with us too much. Those red balloons definitely go a little bit slower. Now, don't wanna forget, we wanna focus you on strong. And just try to keep focusing on getting $700, put down BMO super duper quickly, and then get the upgrade as quick as we can. All that kind of stuff. Basically the same start as always. I know, I know that's a little boring, but this game definitely is difficult and it's just a, sort of all about being prepared for when that happens and being able to take out what pops up. Okay, so uh, yeah, things are going all right. Just need 150 more dollars, which we should probably be able to get at the end of this round. Knowing us, we usually end at like $699, but maybe not this time. Oh, that actually got through a hot dog guy. The, oh, and these like, it does pop the balloons as well, which is really nice. There it is, BMO, got it. So we need to make sure that the moment we get the $300, that we are, I'm just making BMO talk a lot. The moment we get to $300, we need to get B more. So now it looks like Max is starting to struggle with this part, but that's why they, it's a really nice map. They cycle around twice, which just makes it so much easier to you know manage everything. Cause like, this is the first time Finn's even attacking anything. And they're moving pretty slow. I did not mean to pause, resume the game. There we go. Come on, $290, come on. Ready, set, got it, there we go. So we need to keep doing that again for the 500. So we lost a lot of hot dog guys there, unfortunately. And I think that's gonna be a common theme with how this map sort of works, is these hot dog guys. I mean, they help, and that's sort of the most important thing. But then right after this, we're gonna go for Lumpy Space Princess. It's gonna be the most obvious thing. With this map, I think that, honestly, it's easier than the first map we did. So we'll be able to survive with this for longer than what we did before. We started taking some damage right at the tail end of having BMO set up. I don't think that's actually gonna happen this time. I think that we're gonna be fine. Because it has to go past Max twice, and that makes it all the more different. And even it has to go past Max and Finn, both of them twice. So it makes it seem like we have four towers instead of two. And that's really, really good. Okay, so we got that upgrade. Now we're trying to save up for Lumpy Space Princess, which shouldn't be too bad. She's only 280. And then we're just gonna put her on the other side of the uh, thing where Max is, hopefully. Or we might even be able to put her next to Max, depending on how she reaches, what her range is, because there's no range increase for her. All right, Bima, what you got for me? $100, very nice. It's a little bit more cash, boom. So yeah, either here, which isn't too bad. I think this is obviously like a better setup with the range you get though. So we'll try that out. Hi, girl. And that's already really good. So we're gonna focus on the uh, Lumpy Space Princess upgrade. These lumps already immediately can't handle this. Shouldn't be too bad either, only 220. You're in up money pretty quickly in this game. Hmm. So we'll keep going until we're at 220. Max level BMO is so helpful. It's like wonderful. Okay, now we just gotta get the gotcha. And the gotcha does damage, which makes it really, really nice. And things are getting slowed down anyways because of Max. So this is just like an amazing match made up here. It's a match made in heaven. Max and Lumpy Space Princess are just gonna be best friends forever. Come on, come on, come on, ready. Oh, almost got it. Oh no, one got by there, okay. Lesson learned, we lost some health, but that's all right, it happens. Now Lumpy Space Princess is gonna be doing some damage. I think it's gonna be good now to turn around and focus back on Max and try to get Max to do some extra damage, have some extra range. All that kind of stuff is gonna go a long while. Because the more things he can hit, the more things he's gonna be able to slow down because everything he attacks gets slowed down now because of that bracelet. So that was a very nice orb to get. I wanna get more stuff and the best way to do that is to complete these levels on harder difficulties because we'll get another chest for completing this level and then another bigger chest for completing the entire adventure this way. So let's get sharper darts and then we're probably gonna save up for more darts and then we'll probably leave Max that way for a little bit until like round 20. That's when we wanna come back and get him his camo site, all that kind of stuff. The camos were for hard at first, because we like were at round 30 and there were like a bunch of yellow camos that sort of caught me by surprise. So we got that going on. Um, let's start working on Finn, who really is quite affordable at this moment. Uh, we'll do sword player, we'll do rather faster. We really don't need too much more range for him at, the, at this very moment, because of his positioning. So if we could just make him be like a total beast and just destroy things, and then it'll be just as smart as anything else. So, got the sword master. And then we'll probably leave it like that. If we can get more towers up, like if we could get Finn and Jake, then that'd be good. And then go all in on Brofist. Getting an early Brofist is nice. I don't think it's like the most necessary thing ever. But now with Jake being a bit more of a viable character, definitely is easier. 
We'll definitely have to get more and more uh, meatballs to upgrade him. I, this Is this in range for, this is indeed in range for Brofest. Right here. That's good, because that way they can both sort of have control over one side of that path. And that just makes it easier to work with. Okay, so lots of balloons coming in. Got some money. We're gonna save up for right in the gloves, which is about to happen. And then the 1400. Like I said, we've only lost seven health in round, round 17. Definitely better than previous, uh, the previous attempt at the uh, throne room. So I like it. Things are going pretty well. Hmm. 388 now. Get some money from BMO at 500. So we need a little bit less than a thousand more to go. We got the regrows coming in. Definitely normal difficulty. They throw more difficult balloons at you sooner. So like, I, I think that if we can survive this, we might be able to survive some of the three skull easy challenges, or normal, I guess it is. It's not even easy, it's just normal. All right, what does BMO got for me? Another $100, I like it. Come on. I know I wanted the camo site by now, but I don't know if it's gonna work. Maybe by round 25, because I think it was round 30, we had the yellow camos that really sort of threw us for a loop, even though I don't think they're gonna be as bad this time because of that you know second runaround they have to have. But we'll have to wait and see. We don't wanna speak so soon. So we're almost at 1400. We wanna make sure we try to get 1400 before the round ends because that way we can actually, you know, cash in the Brofist. So boom, because the Brofist only activates at the end of the round. So we wanna make sure we get it in there before the round ends. And we did, so we're good. Let me then, like I said before, enhanced range. So now we can see camo and we have at least some kind of protection for it. If we could get heavy tips, that'd also be nice because you know that, that pops frozen balloons and then the hot tips can melt lead balloons, which I don't think we have a ton of protection against at the moment, so definitely wouldn't be so bad. But we get a lot of money by the end of the round at this point. We're getting a lot more income and that's really good. So I would love to focus on Ice King, but I really wanna try Cassie, Captain Cassie. So I think that's what we'll do. And we'll just sort of see how that goes. I mean, I love the Monkey Buccaneer in normal balloon, so I think this will be a lot of fun. Activate that money, get Cassie, and Cassie's really big, she has this gigantic ship. I think it would be cool to have her sort of protect this side a little bit more. Okay, so let's take a look at her, let's see what she can do if we go here. And I figure, you know, some people have been telling me or asking me if I wanna do like full on character showcases. I figured I would do that when we're much farther in the game because there are just some things like I can't showcase this unless I get it to level five. So for right now, we're just trying to play through the story mode, check out this limited time stuff. Like we, today's episode really is just focusing on the Jake Adventure Pack, which I haven't talked about too much. Before we move on, I think the Jake Adventure Pack is pretty cool. I think that if you wanna play more with Jake and get that Finn and Jake combo, it's definitely worth it because you get the Viola, which just makes him do a good chunk more damage. And now as we've seen, Lumpy Space Princess is a plenty good ally, so I think it's worth it, but I would love to hear your thoughts. Have you gotten the Jake Adventure Pack? Do you think it's worth it or not? I would love to hear, and I wanna continue checking those things out to see if it's worth your money or not. Uh, but Long Cannon improves the range of Cassie's attacks, and then we also have Heavy Duty Ammo. Cannonballs create even bigger explosions, so. Hmm, improves range of Cassie's attacks. I definitely think we want increased range as soon as we can. Seeming like a lot like a Buccaneer Monkey so far. So that's pretty cool. And all the monkeys have like so much personality in this game. I love it. All right, long cannon. That'll be nice. Before they even get in the loop, she'll be attacking him. So that makes that a whole lot better. Then we have crow's nest. Okay, so you can see camo balloons. What I was hoping for was a little bit more camo protection, so that's great. Crew upgrades. And Cassie increases the maximum number of crew allies. So that might not be too good to invest in right now because we don't have any allies applied to her, I don't think. Maybe I should have done that with the Dart Monkey. I think the Dart Monkey is still with Max. Heavy duty ammo though, like we said, even bigger explosion, so it should be hurting more. That would be nice to have once we have the 500, which we should if we cash that in. Okay, that was good. Grape Shot, good old Grape Shot, fires additional piercing spread attack. I like it. We also have fire barrels. Car Car Cassie lobs an explosive barrel onto the track. That sounds cool. And then needs Princess Bubblegum nearby. Cassie and her allies attack faster and cost less. Hmm, I don't know how, how expensive that's gonna be, but maybe we can figure that out soon. Maybe we will get PB up right now. Have even more slowdown, really. Just like really have a good offense at the beginning. That'll make some things pretty affordable and easier. Now we do know we start running into mobs around round 40, so we gotta be ready for that. But right now, I think we're making a ton of cash. We're surviving things quite nicely. Collect another $200 and get PB out here. And we could get her maybe, 
How close can she be? She has to be on this side. So we could do something like this and really get them slowed down before they even reach us too much. And obviously with that, we can do regal presence and I'll be super duper amazingly worth it. But right now, you should be able to pop camos if we do get too many of those. And have we put you in strong? We have. Okay, good. So private tier might be worth it then. Okay. And then we'll focus on the 600 regal presence. And now things are really getting slowed down. It's hard for them to even get into this loop, but if they do get into the loop, they do have to deal with Finn and Jake, so very fantastic stuff going on there. So Finn and Jake don't get as much action this round, but which is fine. I mean, still very survivable, and the hot dogs are helping us out. I mean, not as much as they were before, but it's still helpful, nonetheless. But definitely, I think the BMO upgrade was super duper worth it last episode. This episode, I'm really enjoying the Lumpy Space Princess upgrade, or like, you know, ally. So I think those all make some big differences. But with all that moving the way it is, oh wow, crew upgrades, I thought that was a thousand before. I don't know. We have the fire barrels, definitely is cheaper. So it is something we did, maybe something with uh, her, made things a bit more affordable. So unwavering loyalty, Princess Bubblegum's allies attack faster. So I don't think that's gonna affect, uh, Lumpy Space Princess, super intelligence. Hmm. I think it'd be better to focus on maybe you. The fire barrel shouldn't be so bad. Especially if we get this, get that. Now this requires level three. Fires weapons at at once. Fires all weapons at once and brutal onslaught. So that might be an ability. We take a look at her other stuff. Um to the left here. Once we get this, we really can't do too much more, so. Increase, Karasi increases the maximum number of crew allies. I don't know. I don't know what that means. I mean, I guess we can like have more than one? Thought that we already could. Sort of weird. Don't really know what that means too much. If you guys know, let me know. Maybe now it's starting, it's, it's gonna be a good idea to start focusing on some Moab protection. That might be our next best bet. I mean, obviously, they're, they're still having a hard time. So we can do Rad as fast as Limber Limbs. Slicer, Moab Rapper, we had a lot of money there. Wow, okay, that was a lot. How much money does do you have? You have $200? This is where we start making a ton of money per round. Like, camos don't stand a chance, for sure. We could try to get Ice King out, but I think we could work with what we have for a good little while. I mean, Ice King did great, don't get me wrong, but I think we just have enough to work with for now. Hmm. Come on now, almost at a thousand. Almost at a thousand. Yeah, there we go, the flying kicks. That'll be great against Moabs when they start showing up inevitably. There we go. Okay, so let's get Axe Foot. Almost have Mace Hand, which will be another good one. Probably then want to start focusing on, I guess, Princess Bubblegum. Actually, let's do weak spots real quick. That way, if one does show its face, a Moab will be good. And then yeah, all three of these upgrades will be great for Jake, so it's just a matter of affording them. The big Jake hand slap is probably our next best one. Really just try to focus in on Jake a little bit more because we haven't been. So next and most affordable, affordable thing is the $600 one. That should be fine because look at these balloons. They show up here, they get destroyed. Not a problem, 600. And then we have the harmful swallowed. Yeah, he just like destroys them and I feel like that totally saved us last round so I would love to get that again. So we'll work on that and sort of see how things end up going. Like look at those camos. Those were I think black camos. Not a problem. It was super easy to deal with. Come on, we're almost at the thousand dollars. Oh, the camos. Some camos did get around there, but once they make that second loop, like nothing has really survived the second loop in a while. We've made our health back, plenty fine. So now we're looking for like probably the yeah the, um, the musical one, and then probably butt push. Butt push should be fine. Look at all these balloons just getting totally popped. He's gonna eat up a couple of them. Achievements unlocked, it's popping in time. So we gotta cash in more achievements at the end of this. That'll be good. So the ceramic, the ceramics are starting to pop up and they're a bit scary. Let's do super intelligence, I think will be good. Well, maybe gun familiarity and then quick draw. Increase his attack speed, that'll be good. Slowing down as many people as possible or many balloons as possible, will be good. Oh, finish him off my semi-loyal pet too. So we get another one of those, that's nice. Uh. 300, and then we almost have enough, well, we can do gun expertise, that way that's sort of just out of the way. 700, still tough to afford. We're working on it, because I mean, these regrows are starting to get a little scary, so getting this now will be good. The balloon science, 
Guns do increase damage to ceramics and mobs. That would be nice because we do have one of those bad boys showing up soon. I mean, I think maybe like round 42 or 43 was it then? I know it's coming up really, really soon, that Moab. And the first round is just a Moab. And then we have like two or three mobs that show up right after. It gets real tough real fast. So we're not gonna be able to do the Jelly Beans power much at all. We could try the crew upgrade, but I don't think it does anything. But I do like Cassie as a hero. I think she just needs a couple more levels before she's all that viable compared to things like Ice King and stuff. Just, you know, worth keeping in mind. Let's do the one on Wavering Loyalty, and then a couple more things we can't really do at the moment. Once she gets a level up, we'll be able to do this one. We'll place an additional ally. I mean, maybe it's only you can place an additional or like one ally per thing. Like, I don't really know what that means or how it works. Okay, so we don't have too much money right now, but you just like ate everything that Moab had, and then you spit it out. Sometimes he says he swallows it, sometimes he definitely spits it out, but it definitely saves us some time and stress. So when it comes to the 2500, I think we'll focus on the bullseye, because I would love to activate that ability and see what it really, really does. Um, so yeah, we'll try to get that right now, and activate our first ability of the game. Come on, come on, come on. I mean, we're four episodes in, this is our first ability. It's sort of weird. That's just how this game seems to operate. Almost got it, bullseye. Okay, here we go, activated abilities. You can unlock, or you unlocked an activated ability. These powerful effects can instantly turn the tide of battle. Abilities can be found in the abilities menu. Unlike powers, activated abilities have limited uses. However, each ability will take some time to recharge after you use it. Okay, so we have that right here, so that's pretty cool. Um, so yeah, when we have a Moab show up just like this, we wanted to get into range, but then we can just sort of destroy some stuff, I think. Ready, set, boom. Yeah, and he just starts destroying it. A couple rainbows coming as well. Not a problem. Not one problem going on here. Oh, we got more Moabs. Oh my, was not expecting three more of them. Okay, so we should probably slow this down. Maybe get you to attack faster might be a good start. Get BMO to do something, $144. Okay, now I'm getting a little scared. This is a lot of Moabs coming in. Um, Maybe I could cash in that and then sell BMO? I don't know if that's a good idea or not. Might be worth it though. So let's go ahead and maybe I'll wait. Maybe I'll wait. Yeah, I think we're fine, we're fine, we're fine. We got it. He's gonna spit out the rest of those balloons. Nice, level complete. So we, we survived both of those on the silver difficulty, the, the hard mode. So that is really, really cool. And as you can see, Enkai rating complete. We get the silver chest. And what is this one gonna have? Ooh, it's gonna be some coins. More gems. Bananas, nice, as for max. And we get one wish orb, and we get 90 experience. I might be level five. We gotta be getting close. I don't know where to check, but I'll try to look around at the end of today's episode. Super happy about the bananas. They'll be used to level up max. Purple balloons can't get, yeah, we already know about purple balloons. All right, great, great stuff. Candy cornered. And that means we can collect this chest, as you can see right here. Adventure rewards. What do we get? Hopefully something good, I'd have to imagine. Usually these big chests, they cough up some good stuff. We got 150 coins, eight gems, six fan fiction, so that's gonna be good for Ice King, 60 more shards, a blue wish orb, which is rare, and a power. Don't know what it is, but we'll find out. Like an Adventure Time logo power, weird. But uh, yeah, look at that stuff. I am super excited to see. And let's check out first off our green wish orb. And this is gonna have, whoa, some all kinds of new stuff. One's a repaired Viola. No special properties, speed plus five. That's not so bad. But then we also have the sniper rifle. No special properties, range plus 15%. Hmm, okay. Who is this for? If I select this, it's just for PB. Okay, just for PB, but she gets a sniper rifle. Then we got the sandwich again, which we already have one of these. I mean, I already have something for Jake. So let's go ahead and get a new weapon for PB. I think that'll be our best bet. And we're not quite done. We should have a blue one as well. So I'm super excited to check that out. There it is. So what kind of cool rare stuff might we be able to get? Choose your loot. What do we got? We get the, the rare bottle rocket. Additional 10% range if equipped to a character using a bomb weapon. So we don't actually have a bomb weapon character yet. Like, I mean, we do have a bomb weapon character, it's Cassie, but she doesn't have a bomb weapon. But good to keep in mind, we also have the Martian Blaster. No special properties, but it gives plus one damage. Is this, this is just for PB. Well, we already got PB here in your weapon. And then finally, we got Mind Games, which is a trinket 
And with this one, characters, upgrades, and allies are 5% cheaper when in range of a female character excluding allies. That's a weird one. Um, hmm. So excluding female allies, so Lumpy Space Princess doesn't count. Okay. So we probably wanna put this next to a character that we usually combo up with a female character. So something like, I would suppose, who do we combo up really? I think it's usually Max we combo up near PB. So we'll do that and we'll discard these two. And uh, yeah, we only need 50 more experience before we're level five. So that's pretty cool, get that next episode. But yeah, we got to complete that level on a harder difficulty. And of course, beyond that, we were able to get some good rewards by buying the Jake's Adventurer Pack. I think that was totally, totally worth it. Now, we're not quite done. I did wanna not do this, but um, check out a couple things. Is there anything new? Doesn't look like it. Here, though, we do have our pop 50,000 balloons. That's gonna be 150 more coins. Finish them off my semi-loyal pet, we get 150 coins and 10 shards, and then finish them off my semi-loyal pet two, we get uh, 300 coins and 20 shards, which is a lot of stuff. And then finally, going down like a lead, if we pop one more lead balloon in the next episode, we'll get 150 coins. Uh, complete five adventures, we'll get one, one orb. Uh, I taste awesome. Want a character to four stars, that's gonna take some time. All right, so a couple more things I wanna tackle. Uh, I still have no clue what we spend coins on. I wanted to check the shop out. Like we have gold coins, can boost your power apparently. Haven't seen the, haven't had the chance to do that. Wish orbs. I mean, that's for real life money. Hmm. And of course there are like characters, like there's Dungeon Finn. Oh, these are really expensive. I don't know if you guys wanna see uh, showcases of these, you can let me know. And you can get like character bundles as well. So maybe I'll do like some stuff on this kind of stuff. You guys gotta let me know. But for now, let's go back this way and get something with the coins, right? You would think? Like maybe the powers. Yeah, I guess the powers, right? That would make the most sense. So yeah, there's a lot of stuff I can buy here. Which is donuts, tasty treats that restore lives at the end of each round. I can buy some of that. Um, maybe I'll just buy one of each. Oh, I might not be able to do that if this is 500. Mushroom Blast, unleash a mighty mushroom bomb, deadly to balloons, but harmful to heroes too. Oh my gosh, I don't know if I like that. Drops a huge bag of butter that stuns all balloons. Hmm, we'll buy a couple of those. Uh, golden crown, become true, roy true royalty and gain extra cash from each pop. Ooh, I wanna buy a couple of those. Crystal copy, uh, use crystal magic to temporarily duplicate one of your characters. I don't think I need that, but it's only because it's only temporary. Trail mix, tasty trail mix revitalizes your heroes, giving them attack speed and boost. Hmm, we'll buy one of those. Hot dog knights, these brave knights will help pop balloons if placed on the tracks. They're basically like tacks. I mean, I've seen them. They were in the level we just played. So I don't have them equipped because we have like a loadout of different things. We have the dimension disruptor, destroys all balloons and heals all lives when you lose. Oh wow, that one's pretty crazy. Uh, we have the scented candles. FP's candles give speed boosts to all in range and melt balloons that get close. Okay, that one's a little expensive. Firewolves, a pack of firewolves to charge down the balloons. Hmm. Wolf pack, there's a lot more, isn't there? All right, we'll go through more of these eventually, but I only have so much time for today. So lastly, I'll go ahead and equip some stuff that we got. We got a couple more bananas from Max. I don't know if that's enough for a level up, so one step at a time. Hmm. So who can we equip here? Oh yeah, I totally forgot about you. Let's go ahead and just equip you there. See how that ends up working out, and then Let's see what other trinkets we have available. I know that we have something, right? We have the mind game, so we wanna give that to Max, if Max can equip it, which I'm pretty sure he can. So let's move over to Max, just like this, and give him that trinket. Yep, he can get it, so we're gonna you know, just have him near PB, and that'll make it a little bit better. Okay, so moving back, I wanna go to PB, because she has a new weapon, just like this. And once again, that's gonna give her plus 15% range and then another extra percent per two stars. So, no, I do not wanna, no, I do not wanna shard it. I wanna equip it. There we go. So she doesn't have any candy, but she is going to get an extra percent because she does have two stars. 
And then lastly, who has some extra stuff? It was Max with the bananas, right? So not quite enough to get a level up, that's a shame. But Ice King, I know he got some more journals, but still not quite enough to get a level up. That's a total shame. Still don't have a wand for him, still don't have any allies. I mean, he's pretty fine on his own, to be honest with you. So I don't think we have any trinkets available. Yeah, not anything extra than what we currently have. All right then, so that's probably gonna be where, right, where we wrap it up. That was a lot of fun. Thank you guys so much for watching today's episode of Bloons Adventure Time Tower Defense. If you want to support the video, make sure you comment Zebra Jake, so you've watched the end of the URA Zebra Task Viewer. Check out more episodes like this one on your screen right now, or by subscribing, join the Zebra Herd out of the way. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time, bye bye.